By now, many of us have received letters from organizations we have done business with explaining how deeply sorry they are to inform you that your personal information was compromised during a data breach that exposed millions of accounts. The letter typically goes on to explain that steps have been taken to prevent this type of breach from happening again. And although the chances of your information actually being used for criminal activity is very low, they still recommend that you monitor your credit report closely over the coming months. After the initial shock of reading one of these letters subsides, you may be curious how this could have happened. After all, aren't there technological safeguards in place to prevent these kinds of cyber attacks? The answer is yes, there are. But no matter how advanced our technology is, it is only as good as the human who answers the phone when a hacker calls to trick them into giving away their password. And cyber crimes like these are on the rise, as are all methods of attack over the previous year. In fact, the number of cyber assaults requiring written notification to all those affected rose 40% in 2016 to more than 1,000 unique security breaches affecting a whopping 4 billion user accounts. That's over half of the world's population. But what's really going on to explain this sharp increase in the number of data breaches? Are there more hackers and cyber criminals working to gain access to guarded systems? Maybe, but consider this. According to a recent report, nearly 60% of all data breaches are caused by physical lapses in security that can be attributed to human interactions, such as accidental deletion of files and theft of non-secured computer equipment. This accounts for nearly 2.4 billion compromised accounts in total. Cybercrime in the 21st century is an ever-evolving landscape that requires all of us to play an active role in combating its effects both at home and in the workplace. And becoming aware of the most common threats and how to defend against them is one of the most effective ways to reduce its impact. In this way, we can collectively form a human firewall, which, when combined with technology solutions, creates a powerful barrier of defense that is much stronger than either approach on their own.